This is what the people of Mogadishu had begun to hope might be over. A car bomb in one of the city's busiest streets. The explosion happened around lunchtime, just outside the National Theatre, close to Mogadishu's administrative district. An eyewitness in a nearby restaurant describes what happened. We were watching the street when I saw these cars driving past. One car hit a minibus from behind. I think they were trying to reach a government car with some security people just ahead of the bus. Then I saw a huge explosion. An Al-Shabaab spokesman told me his organization carried out what he called a martyrdom operation aimed at the city's security chief. He denied any civilians were killed in the blast and said it was revenge for a recent series of killings by security agents, killings that couldn't be confirmed. Whatever the motive, survivors quickly tried to recover. The owners of the restaurant clawed through the rubble to salvage what they could. In a statement, the Prime Minister said too much progress had been made to return to the bad old days. Of course, Mogadishu is no longer a war zone. The African Union peacekeepers and the National Army have been very effective at driving back the front lines out of the city and pushing Shabab away. But they haven't had the time to develop the sophisticated public security skills, the policing skills that they need to maintain control over the city and prevent these kinds of attacks. Even crowd control often gets out of hand. Police shoot into the air, driving back people who threaten to overwhelm them. The city is more secure than it used to be, but it's still not safe. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu.